I just put that weight on something that might be fit to hold it? Hmm. There we are. Going over now. I just got a call from the lads at Shane McManus in Dundalk in County Loud who are coming to fit our new tyres this morning. They should be here now, probably within the next hour or so. I am so looking forward to this. It was a Christmas morning when I woke up this morning and I just had a bounce in my step and I just cannot wait to see tyres on this tractor. My appreciation of this tractor has grown in the past 12 months tenfold. I must admit, at the very beginning, I didn't really think that much of it. Those of you who are following our YouTube channel from the beginning probably could see that, but it's probably down to you guys that I put a front loader on it. And the front loader changed this tractor dramatically. It's a powerful little tractor, and it's worth spending a few pounds on. I can't wait to see the process of how they do it actually out in a farm. Anyone knows, tractor tires can be a nightmare at times, especially if they've gone hard. But hopefully they're not put up much of a fight, because one way or the other, they're gonna lose because they're coming out. So not alone that, I'm gonna be busy here too. We have four cows that's probably going to be calving um, fairly soon. Uh, one of them, she's hanging at the door already. I know she's licking at the bucket, but she's hanging at that door for the past six or seven hours now. I got up this morning and she was roaring, which is unusual because they don't really roar. And she was roaring. She said, let me know that the time is coming. So I'm hoping that most of them will calve maybe in the daylight if I'm lucky at all. But no, my luck, it'll probably not happen. That sweet spot between two and five in the morning. My cows just love it. Yeah, it's just I tank the brake. Um, what's the easy bit? Handle the way. Yeah, put that pin out there. Just take that tip out. Put that pin out on that whole arm and come way over. We should be all right if I can get in on it. We can drop them. We'll drop them arms down a bit. Would that help? Put you get in on the way. Oh, just go down. Yeah. Yeah. There's the right tool, it's the right tool that makes the job. Oh, without a doubt. You can do a couple of screwdrivers. That's it. Gary's working away there at the minute, but let him walk away. It's a wee bit awkward trying to keep your distance and fill him as well. I actually haven't done anything with Big Manus tyres before, and but I've definitely heard of them. I think most people have around this part of the world. They probably were just a little bit too far away from me if I've ever kind of needed to use them. But I have to say, Gary, the equipment that they have on the back of that van, how quick he can just get straight to work. He just literally jumped out of the van, the presser was on within seconds, and he was already at work. So, And he's been flat out ever since. He has already got one tyre on. It's only been 10, 15 minutes. That's a good man at a job. So now you know, Alliance tyres is what we went with in the end. 
These are the Agri Star 2s. We're going to talk about them now in good detail with Gary when he's finished putting on the last few tyres. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. What's that stuff, Gary? Is it a sealer or a... Yeah, it's just a bee, it's a paste, it's just to help it see the bees yeah. and just gives it a wee extra seal as well. Yeah. That's the difference right there. And I think you'll all agree, it's a huge difference. I hope you can make it out. We're all wearing our masks here. We're keeping our distance. Yeah, I think that's incredible. It makes a huge difference to the stance of the tractor, especially on the front. Just changes the whole appeal of the tractor. So we've Gary here, who has been working like a Trojan all morning. Never seen a man walk like it. He uh, really had a battle with them front tires. He just did not want to come off, but he got through it. After plenty of bathroom, he'll definitely not need his gym membership after this, um, but he got them done. Now, Gary, what can you tell us about these so tires these in Pacific? Are, these are the new Alliance Agri Star 2 tires. They are supplied by Kirby Tires and they are the, the latest edition. They were, they were launched early last year, 2020. And there's quite a bit of a difference from the previous generation. I noticed one thing about this, it's got a second layer here. What's the story with that? Yeah, so this is the new uh, Satisfied Layer technology. You have nearly two layers in the lug. So as your first 40% wears down till this groove here, it's like giving you another bite, another new life to the tire. It's like a second, a second, like a second life, second life, second life yeah, once so you get down to that. That's cool, that's cool. And these actually are the new technology of 70 series profile. And they are more, they have more lugs. They're more, they're more closed in as the last one was a wee bit more spaced out. Yeah. So it's to give better traction, there's more rubber, be a better tire cycle life. Yeah. And a wee bit more traction in the fields. So yeah. excellent tire. I can't say anything bad about them. Traction around here would be very important because we have fairly, not wet, but we've hilly ground. It's, it's not dry either compared to other parts of the country, but it's definitely a good thing to have more traction, more grip and definitely more weight as well. Angle in the, in, the, in the thread lugs is actually designed to prevent skidding and slippage and is also designed for better cleaning properties. The shoulder is also designed to protect against damage to standing and growing crops. D rated also for high speed capability up to 65 kilometers an hour. I doubt we get 65 out of our. I'd say we'd be doing well if we got 20. Another thing a lot of farmers ask me on the channel, and something I want to know myself because I know very little about, tire pressure. On this specific tractor, a lot of people wonder what is the right tire pressure to put on a tractor. So tire pressures, you need to be sort of finding out what sort of work the tractor's doing before you, want, before you adjust them. 
So for the legs of this tractor here, with the front loader and that on, you could run them if you haven't much weight in the back. Adrian, yeah. what would you would you have much weight on the back? Of it? F- about 700, 800 kilos in the back of it. Seven, eight hundred kilos in the back. Okay, so I would recommend probably in around twenty four on the back, and you know yourself if you feel that she's still a wee bit hard on the road with the weight on her, you can always adjust them down a yeah. wee bit. Yeah. But I wouldn't go anywhere below twenty psi. Yeah. In the front there with the loader, I'd recommend probably in around twenty eight to thirty, depending on the weight again. So if yeah. You find it that she's a bit bouncy, or when you have the weight on the loader, that you you find a bit of a bulge in the tire. You yeah. can raise them up and adjust them down to suit yourself. Yeah. But 28 should be perfect for the weight on the front of the loader. Yeah. And the size of the tractor and the whole lot. So. So Gary, anyone want to get their hands on a set of these Alliance Agri Star Twos? How would they go about getting their hands on them? Uh, these tires are supplied by Kirby Tires Ireland. They have been the exclusive importers of Alliance tyres this past 60 years. Uh, you can't just go and buy these tyres anywhere, you can't. You, you have to go through an authorised agent such as ourselves there, McManus Tyres from Dow. and if you check out Kirby online I'm sure they can tell you all the other agents where you can get them. They also are 7 year warranty with these Agri Star 2s. So that's definitely a good warranty. Yeah. Hopefully we'll not need it but it's always good to have. So Gary, you walk obviously for McManus Tyres. Um, I have to say they have a great kit. He has everything he could possibly need in the back of that van. Um, I've never dealt with McManus before, but I've certainly heard of them, and it's always been good news. What part of the country do they cover so, on? We're based in uh, Dundalk, County Loud. We're working out of uh, Portway Yard. We're a very busy depot and the 24-hour breakdowns and that, and a good part of County Mead as well. Here today I'm in Cavan, so we get about so we do here and there. Yeah, so if anybody's interested in getting to know a wee bit more about the Alliance and about a wee bit more about what we do and that, you'll find us on Facebook at McManus Tires and we also have a website www.mcmanustires.ie. We have pictures of all the machines we've done this past down through the years, both on site and in the depot. Gary's just gone and before we get back to the tractor we have another girl in here who needs to come out and get into this cabin pen because she already has the first water bag gone and it's time to move. Another thing we're going to have to do is bed this. She knows. Come on, come on. That's what I say. Meet you up at the door. They just know, they just know that. Already the calves, she's running now actually for the cabin pen. She's mad to get into it. It's weird the way their minds work. And she's already in there. She just knows exactly what's in store, so. She's a professional. I parked her in the shed because it was absolutely pouring rain there for a while. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to Put these stabilizers back together. We had to take the stabilizers off because just so we get uh, the tire breaker in and um, a bit more rim. So we're going to put these all back together again. He left everything here for me to do that. So that'll only take me a few minutes. We're going to put the weight back on the tractor. Then I'm going to put the grab back on it on the front. Just get her all set back up again. But by God, she looks good. Sweet little thing in the design of their arms that I absolutely love. You pull this lever. You can pull this, slide this in and out to get the implement on. It saves you getting up in the tractor and mucking about trying to move back and forth, especially when you're dealing with a heavy weight like this, which does not want to move. It's a great design, it's so simple and it's a great design. I absolutely love it. It makes putting things on the back of this little tractor so, so easy. So it's the day after, I didn't get to film any more yesterday evening because our labour ward just took out. We had four cows calve last night. They all kind of, well, they were similar in times. Left it, I didn't actually get to bed at all really last night. So I am tired, if I look tired, I apologize for that. And the sun's in my eyes which isn't really helping. It's one thing I definitely want to do today. I want to take this baby for a spin. Okay, well, the first thing I'm noticing straight away is the way it's handling. 
steering wheel is as light as a feather. It's just a joy to turn. I more or less expected that. A few tires was always going to bring that bit of comfort. One thing I can't get over is how good she looks. Look at them. Just look at them. Might be a bit hard for you to see with the sun, but I can't resist looking out at them front wheels. They're going to be so much better with the front loader on. They're going to be they're going to handle the weight so much better. It's a comfort to know when you put new tyres on. The tractor now is safe, it's reliable, and it's in good order. It's encouraged me to do more to it. This interior is one thing that's going to have to get seen to. We had a leak in this roof. I think I have it fixed. And hopefully we'll be fit to either clean this interior, which I think we can. It's just, it looks worse than it actually is. Um, but there's a few panels on it along here that I might actually fix up as well. That panel is completely done, so it might be fit. Might be fit to get them reupholstered. I'd like to clean up inside, just make it a wee bit more pleasant inside, just to match what it looks like on the outside. Would you look at the rear end on that thing? So for those that are interested, maybe you're thinking about changing your tires down the line, I'm gonna tell you why we chose this specific one and what I actually think of them now on first impression. Number one brilliant thing about these tires is seven year warranty. A seven year warranty is a long time on a set of tires and that's something you rarely ever see on a set of tires. So definitely gives you good confidence off the bat straight away. Second thing is there's more lugs on this tire. So you get an extra grip, better for traction. It suits our grounds. Our ground is very, very steep. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it is fierce steep. We went for a wider tire. We went with 480s, 70s, uh, 34s. So it was originally 34 rim. Anyway, it was on the other tires, but we're gone wider now. The reason we chose that width, some people might say, why didn't you go a little bit wider? These were the safest option to put on, and they are plenty wide enough to suit the tractor to the ground. Nobody wants something that's just overboard and too wide. It just looks wrong. And I think these are lovely and neat and they're just the perfect width for these rims. If you have a tractor the similar and you want to go with wider wheels for different reasons, Derby Tires also supply a rim conversion. Um, so they can convert your rims completely and you can put whatever size of tire basically you want. They're also designed with the core of this in them um, to have better self-cleaning properties. So that's a win-win. I know farmers get a lot of bad rep in different parts of the country and different parts of the world for bringing clay and things out on the road. It's just different times of year when fields are classy and things, nobody likes to go out on the road and dirty it. And I know it's a big risk to people that are using roads and to slip on it, it can cause a huge amount of hassle. So if you can pick up something that's kind of designed to stop that happen is definitely the way I think all tires should be heading. So we put these back tires as tubeless. This time there was tubes, they're over there against the wall somewhere that was in the old ones because the old tires obviously were well worn. The rims actually weren't too bad on the back of these. Um, the tires came off quite easy. They're quite clean so we cleaned them down and went with them as tubeless and here we are tomorrow morning. They haven't went down so it was all good so far. The front tires were different. The front tires were on before were a struggle to get off, were quite rusted. We sanded them down, we used a wire brush on them as well, on the angle grinder, and we cleaned them down as best we could, but we still put in a tube just to be on the safe side. So I'm to put the old tyre up against the new tyre. You can see yourself, there's a big difference, but the tyre itself sits much higher, and it's wider, which is always a bonus. Now this tyre is deflated, but if it was blown up, it'd be raised more in the middle, and it wouldn't look even as wide as it's sitting there now. Um, so, huge improvement. So that's it. What do you think? Comment down below. I'd like to get your thoughts on them. Most people that follow my channel probably can tell by now that I probably am a little bit particular. It's something I can't help. It's the way I am. And when I'm picking tires for, whether it's my Jeep, my tractor, a wheelbarrow, there's all something that sticks out to me. And that isn't to do with any specs. It's always how good they look. You can have everything under the sun on a tire and it can look absolutely horrendous. I am so impressed with how these look. look so well on the side of this every little bit of design that's put into it i love the way the wall is more straight instead of coming out but you see a lot of tires room for you to catch it on something because i have bush tires before and you don't want that tires more or less flat so you're getting more contact with the ground as well so i like them little things them little things set them off for me for a cow here just as you can see this lady has a pair of feet coming here beside me so i'm going to finish up now with the last few pieces so i can get to her special thanks to a few people I want to thank Alliance Tires for supplying us with these Agri Star 2s. We're over the moon by them. I want to thank Kirby Tires for the help to choose the tire that probably would suit our tractor best. Kirby Tires are the exclusive importers of 
Alliance Tires. Now you can't go to Kirby Tires yourself and buy directly off them. You just go to your local agent, tire place, wherever it may be. And if you want Alliance Tires, at least you know where they're coming from. I also want to thank McManus Tires. Gary, the lad that came here, I mightn't be able to pick up everything that went on in the video because I didn't want to disturb him when he was walking. He pulled up here in the van, he jumped out. I wasn't even speaking to him. Straight away he hit the jack under the tractor, he had her up in the air. But the speed of him was incredible. There's a lot of things I appreciate. One thing is I appreciate someone who doesn't mind getting stuck in and doing a bit of hard work because it never hurt anybody. And that lad Gary was the most impressive fella I have seen in a long time. It's just a pleasure to watch someone who knows the trade. Fair play to you Gary. I hope the boys in McManus tires are paying you well because you're definitely worth it. The improvements we made to this tractor um, in the past year has been phenomenal. This front loader, the new lights, the new tires, it's just been incredible. It just has transformed it completely and it's, everything on it works. And it's just a blessing for me now to have. But another thing I'd like to say in the video is safety. Safety when the job has been done. There's a couple of things I want to cover because I know some people might comment and ask about it. So I'm just going to cover it now so it's done. All rules and regulations to do with COVID were fully respected today. Not because someone told me to, because I knew I had to. My parents are quite elderly and I want to make sure that they're protected. I want to make sure my whole family are protected. So I take that very, very seriously. Any footage you might have seen today that got quite close to Gary, I'm using an actual five meter extension pole so I can bring the camera up close to him when he's explaining some things in detail. Two meters doesn't mean anything to me. Five meters in my book is what I keep from anybody who ever comes anywhere close to us now because we do not want COVID. And I'll advise you to do the same. Two meters is a very short space. I would definitely recommend staying further away. Front loader was up when he had to put on the front two wheels. I'm not taking that out of the video because we did it safely. The tractor was there and I stood in this position looking straight at that front loader. Gary walked on the wheels and I always made sure he was at least two foot away from where the loader was. You can never trust a loader that's up in the air, but we also reinforced it with a heavy duty piece of timber to add extra safety. Regardless where you are, if you're near a loader and you have to, have to have it up in the air, prop it, put something on there that's gonna keep it up. You never know when hydraulics can fail. There's one actual shout out that I wanna give. There's a young guy who lives very, very close to me and I hear from his parents that he's a big fan of the channel and that he's always sitting in front of the TV watching our videos. So I'm pleased to hear that. And I hear you're a great man with cattle and machinery too, Kian. So keep up that good work. You're on the right track, young man. And a big hello to you. Right, I have a trip here with this lassie. I'm gonna get this calf out, carry out my day's work. If you need to know anything about the spec of them tires or anything at all, don't be afraid to comment below and ask. I'll help you as best I can. I'll put the li two links in the description not for purchasing purposes, all purely just to give you the specifications and any help you might want if you do choose tyres like this. I'll have two separate links for both the front tyres and the back tyres. I'll tell you everything you need to know about them. I'll put a link to Kirby Tyres Ireland. I'll put a link to McManus Tyres. I'll give you all the information you need if you want to make any inquiries yourself about anything you might have seen in today's video. Until the next one, folks, if you haven't hit that sub button, now is the time to hit it. Give us a like, put a comment down below. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Until the next one, we'll talk to you very soon.